Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 11th to the 18th. This is for uh, Leo, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity, to get more specific and detailed with your reading. Leo, I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading, as if we're here one-on-one -on -one rather than a general spread. Lastly, Leo, I use astrology because it brings a lot more depth to your readings now. Leo, speaking of astrology, this is your week. This is your week. I, you have no idea. This is absolutely bonkers. Uh, what's going, uh, what's happening for you this week? Okay. Let first, uh, you know, uh, I started with, uh, June 11th. There's so much happening on June 11th. Okay. The first thing is Mercury is trining Pluto. This is absolutely amazing. Some of y'all are going to be signing big contracts. I know that's a Sunday, but hey, listen, it could be something that came in over the weekend, uh, even Monday. Uh, this is a, a big deal, okay? Because remember, Jupiter is in Taurus. Jupiter moved into Taurus, your 10th house of career, fame, public recognition, honors, achievements, success. Uh, it's going to be there for an entire year, all right? And we also have that huge new moon in Taurus uh, uh, what, last month that they really kick things off so uh this is a big day if a contract comes through you hey good uh, congratulations because <laughs> it's possible if well if it doesn't it's still a great time to be just very communicative you would have so much power with communication now that same day pluto's going retrograde it's going back into capricorn we're going to talk about that later but honestly that's really um it's I, what I want you to do is I, I want you to think about what happened for you between March of this year to now. <laughs> I want you to think, okay, up until June 11th, uh, because if you saw my monthly or I did an annual forecast uh, and also back in March, uh, whatever you were feeling powerful in between March and now, June 11th till June 11th, you're just getting a preview of what's to come for the next 20 years of your life, starting January 2024. Now, Pluto having moved into Aquarius, it's your seventh house of partnership. So there could be something uh, brewing there in terms of partnerships, whether uh, love or uh, work related, business related. Hey, I wouldn't be surprised. There's so much happening uh, for Leo's right now. So much happening now. We know Venus and Mars is in your sign. Okay, you are. Uh, uh, this is uh, you're gonna be at your best you're gonna be things are gonna be really fiery for you uh, when it comes to love when it comes to romance when it comes to your passions when it comes to uh, just pleasure okay procreation as well there's a lot happening uh creativity self-expression uh it's just such a great placement and I want you to know this isn't just this week this is all month this is all month. Venus in your sign. Come on. This is crazy. Mars and Venus conjuncting in your sign. So you'll feel it. You'll feel it. It's it's absolutely amazing. Hopefully you've been uh, feeling it already. Now, the other thing is June 11th is Mercury finally... Uh, it's it went retrograde right it was retrograde for three weeks it was one of the it, i would in my opinion one of the harder retrogrades it was it really hit home uh and then mercury went into shadow uh i don't talk about that much but it's just you know it's kind of just like brain foggy uh and then now it's like mercury on june 11th goes into gemini it goes into its home uh sign mercury is a ruling planet for gemini and so your clarity it's going to be like superman vision it's going to be insane uh things are are gonna speed up big time big time uh information is gonna come to you all different areas all different corners uh you're gonna it just uh conversations are gonna be very stimulating it's a really really great time now the reason why this is a great week for you other than those happening is that we have that new moon in gemini all right that's going to be on uh the 17th on saturday now why is this a big deal because all this activity in gemini not only the sun in gemini moon in gemini and then mercury 
in Gemini. This is all in your 11th house. Your social network, you're going to be expanding that area. I wouldn't be surprised if you made new friends. I wouldn't be surprised if you partnered up with friends to launch a business, launch a side hustle, start a band. Uh, there's, uh, you know, Gemini is the, uh, it's very, you know, creative sign, right? A lot of like mental stimulation, a lot of creativity, artistry. So uh, uh, artists right now are, are going to be in the zone, right? If you are Leo, if you're in a band, if you're a painter, interior designer, doesn't matter. It's just you're just going to feel it. Your creativity, your imagination is going to soar. Uh, one thing that's happening is Neptune is actually going to uh, it's going to square the new moon. I wouldn't be to just, you know, be realistic, basically. All right. About like if you're going to start a band, don't spend like, uh, you know, five hundred million dollars uh, like buying equipment or whatever just you know leo's it's like i don't even have to tell you that like you would know like what's what's going on um but this new moon is pretty powerful obviously new moons bring new beginnings uh, uh speaking of superman and that reference i always say think of uh you know with a new moon think of clark Kent turning into superman okay that's what a new moon is and it's all about really just setting intentions starting new things again this is in your 11th house now i said that is your social network your community that you belong to, organizations you belong to. You may make new friends. You may start a business, do something with, uh, uh, because all that activity is in your 10th house of career. Uh, around this time, you may be even thinking of planting seeds around this time, have ideas brewing around this time. How, but the great thing is the 11th house also rules your hopes and wishes. So a lot of things that you've been wanting could start. You could see uh, some things brewing around this time. Now that same day, Saturn is going retrograde. Um, that's really interesting. It's in your eighth house of other people's resources. Eighth house rules. Uh, it's you know, it's 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 pretty deep. I'm not gonna lie. And so Saturn going retrograde is really good. I say it's like a shoulder, like a boulder off your shoulder. Uh, gives you a little uh, like wiggle room to think about your long term commitments and goals. However, you being a fire sign and with venus and mars in your sign right now it may be like let's go let's go let's go but saturn's just kind of like oh, i'm not i'm not ready yet. i'm gonna do you know what i mean like it's it's a little bit of slowdown um but this is honestly one of the best weeks for you i'm very uh excited about you uh what's going on because if you think about you know the fact that pluto's retrograde saturn's gone retrograde neptune's about to go retrograde i mean there's uh uh, uh mars and venus are really kind of just like leading the brigade right now i really absolutely love that and you know that they are in your sign so leo let's go ahead and get to it let's see what's going on for you for june 11th to the 18th again this is for leo sun and rising and you know i always say uh two things here i always say you know feel free to read for your moon your venus all those other placements i would actually highly encourage you do read if you know your birth chart read for your moon i mean we have this powerful new moon okay um and then also with venus in your sign it might make sense uh, you could have a lot more clarity uh, if you know your birth chart, okay? If you know your birth chart. Secondly, I've been getting a lot of requests from people uh, asking me to um, point out the luckiest days of the week. So I'm going to try to get in the habit of doing that. But hey, it the new moon <laughs> it's at, it's the whole weekend's great the uh, 16th 17th 18th okay really great days really great days uh the uh, moon actually goes into cancer on the 18th really good time to spend time you know uh with friends and family it's a little bit like a little bit more chill but hey it's a great weekend okay it's a great weekend so let's go ahead and get started leo let's see what's going on for you for uh june 11th to the 18th again this is for leo sun and rising now leo like i said earlier i do a traditional culture cross spread it really does bring the best overview if we need to pull clarifiers we will pull clarifiers secondly leo oh you you're okay so your last reading was great <laughs> and now i yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. okay so we're gonna you know what i'm gonna put my camera down a little bit so you can see all that um this is you see what's happening here right 
let me also move my microphone a little bit um, over. You can see it's a little bit darker here. I, I'm 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 doing this a little bit later than normal, but this is uh, this is great. Let's get started. You got the hair font. Um, I love the fact that you got the hair font. You really are coming into your own. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, the hair font is ruled by Taurus. And so, uh, as we know, Jupiter did go into Taurus. So this is going to resonate for a lot of y'all Leos, uh, uh, especially because Taurus is all about comfort. It's all about values. And, you know, it's very grounded. Taurus is all about being grounded. Now, the hair font is the spiritual leader. He is the, uh, you know, like... Um, the Pope energy, right? It's the Greek priest. If you even break down the word, if you go to the etymological root, hero comes from eros, okay? It's a uh, 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 sacred, holy font, finen, to reveal, to display. So he connects uh, the divine to our physical reality. He has a deep sacred knowledge, the deep wisdom, right? He's got the keys. He's wearing a triple crown. Come on. This is really great. So it seems like you've had that spiritual download and I'm absolutely amazing. Uh, or I'm absolutely like happy, happy for you because this is amazing. Um, it's really, you know, an energy that's coming through is that um, I feel like a lot of Leos uh, did have some breakthroughs recently uh in the past few weeks okay now actually when i think about it yes you did uh when you think about that full moon in sagittarius that we had that was on june 3rd that was in your that was in the, your fifth house all right and so that was uh and you are the native ruler of the fifth house so there could have been some uh closure or awareness around some things that brought you maybe like some fun in the past and you're just like i'm gonna get a little bit more serious about this moving forward but you but what it's saying it's he's come up in your past so you have uh you're in a, a more powerful position like even spiritually as well all right to the point where you have this platform and you know the fact that like uh that we are in gemini season that we have a new moon in gemini uh in your 11th house and mercury in gemini just being you know able to just communicate like wildfire right he is just so influential. I mean, it is the first card in the major arcanas where the other where other people appear other than the main figure. So it's like some of y'all have raised up to this platform and people are really looking up to you. I love that because, hey, look what you got in the heart of your spread. You got the star. And so this is the card of your hopes and dreams aligning. This is absolutely amazing this is uh this is having faith in you know your path forward your path to enlightenment your future you have absolutely nothing to worry about this is all about having there's a lot of strength in this card there's a lot of balance in this card you can see the seven uh outer stars they really do represent like your chakras so not only stars aligning but like the seven chakras aligning uh this is uh also ruled by aquarius so as i said pluto did move into aquarius uh, and so keep that in mind because even though it did go back into Capricorn for the rest of the year, it's still considerate for what's happening for you uh, with uh, partnerships. And so, uh, oh, I didn't even say that earlier when I was saying think back to March to now, uh, that would be partnership related because Pluto did go in your seventh house of partnerships. And so there could be, some of y'all could have uh, gotten engaged. Some of you could have had uh, gotten a new job or started a company or whatnot. And so again, what's happened from March till now is giving you a preview of what's going to happen for your life for the next 20 years, starting in January. That's really amazing. I absolutely love that for you. Now, you did get the 10 of Pentacles, but you got your the 10 of Pentacles in your challenge area. I feel like you got the 10 of Pentacles. Well, I, I have to look back, but um, the 10 of Pentacles in your challenge area, this is a great card. You see that it's raining in Pentacles in the form of the Tree of Life. This is a lot of legacy energy. You made it energy. This is, uh, you know, a lot of success here, a lot of prosperity. It came in your challenge area. So for some Leos, you are going to feel this week that, that you haven't gotten there yet or there's something missing and uh, there could be something just within your 
your family environment that may be a little off. There could be some sort of disconnect. Um, it's almost like when I say that, an example would be you maybe you have this goal. Maybe you do have this vision. Maybe you do want to do something new. Maybe you do have this new opportunity that comes through. But there is just someone in your family uh, that may not be supportive of it. Okay, so that's one thing. The second thing is with this come with the this is the end of the suit, right? Ten is the end and this is all about not only family and legacy and prosperity but it's so much happiness okay you can see how big their uh, uh their house is this is a lot of like material like we've come into our material realm here okay so this coming up in your challenge area it's still like there's a sense of you who uh some leos who will feel like there's um the things that you want, it's almost like you have to go beyond that now. You have to go beyond the uh, material. Uh, how do I? You have to go beyond the material realm, basically. You have to uh, go more inward, if that makes any sense. Um, the only reason I'm saying that is because you got the star in the heart of your spread. You get the Hierophant, the spiritual leader in your past. And now you have the Ten of Pentacles in your uh, challenge area. And so this week... I would encourage you to, if things are blazing, things are going good, you're having a good time. Venus and Mars are in your sign. It can be a little fast and furious. So uh, 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 you could be going out, being social, meeting people, uh, going to bars, clubs, whatever you do, whatever you do. But still have that sense of and that connection, all right, of your uh, of, of who you are and uh, being uh, still being very intuitive and, and, and holding on to like that spiritual aspect and, you know, your philosophy philosophies and whatnot it's really just like not uh, 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 not getting too caught up in you know your physical surroundings or the again like your material world if that makes any sense to you hopefully i that does all right it's a little late over here um but uh and that uh, uh mars and venus in your sign remember uh i don't know if you saw my last readings but it is really fiery it's a very fiery placement in your sign okay so there could be uh sometimes it is like uh your egos could be heightened okay it's like and i'm not saying that you have like a huge ego i'm just saying like with that placement in your sign it could be like uh with venus especially right which is the planet of love and 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 and, and romance and money and sex and everything that you think that venus represents it's you could get caught up in 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 all of that but just bring it back down a little bit is is the message i know i'm talking i'm like really harping on that so we're going to keep moving forward you got the king of pentacles king of pentacles in your crown which is really great okay he does have the golden scepter uh which i love he creates all this abundance and it looks like this is something that is on your mind right now this week it will be all right creating that world of abundance for yourself and you're definitely moving in that direction, especially with a star in, in the heart of your spread, okay? Uh, one thing I'm going to show you here is that you see his hand is on top of the pentacle, okay? That is owning your wealth. That is owning your money. That is being confident in that, okay? Again, it's, it's good to be confident. It's good to be proud of yourself. Be proud of how far you've come. Just don't go, like, too crazy, like, walking down the street, like, throwing $100 bills at people wearing, you know, Gucci sunglasses and whatnot. Uh, you, you, you would never do that. I'm just, you know, I know that's an extreme analogy. Uh, but he does have the Golden Scepter, which does create all that abundance. There's only one other card in all of tarot where they have that Golden Scepter. And what I love about this is that you're now getting two Taurus cards, okay? So that's actually, uh, King of Tor uh, Pentacles is Taurus, okay? So you can see the, uh, the, the bulls in his throat throne all right so absolutely love that for you again uh very very uh career heavy uh uh reading here because boom you also got the four of wands and the root of your spread now wands is a uh, career enterprise business work uh job related but it's also your passions right wands are very invigorating they're very uh you know lively have 
a lot of enthusiasm around it, a lot of creativity, your passions, ideas, okay? And that is everything. Remember, you are the native ruler of the fifth house. So it's almost like this is just you being in your element and a lot of y'all will reach a milestone this is a card of milestone so uh remember with again mars and venus in your sign all month long especially this week it's 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 the other aspects that are happening that new moon in the gemini oh my goodness new beginnings hey there you go. All right. So this is getting a new job. This is getting promoted. This is starting your own business. This is uh, moving into new home. This is uh, moving in with a partner. This is, you know, uh, getting proposed to, getting engaged. This is, remember, milestone energy. This is, at, it's the hurrah card. So there's definitely something that a lot of y'all have in your site like you know this is what i'm going toward this is what's happening in my future uh for a lot of y'all this is happening now okay and this is really great remember you got the star card in the heart of your spread your you know hopes and wishes stars aligning for you belief faith i i absolutely love all of that now you did get the nine of swords in your future okay and so this is why i've been harping i was harping on i never talked so much about the challenge card but um i was looking at your entire spread and so the nine of swords came up in your future so there is that sense of there could be something that you may regret doing this week is the biggest message that i'm getting okay there could be and it, again mars and venus in your sign is very fiery very 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 fiery all right. So just keep that in mind. It's not um, just, you know, it's it's like you can have as much fun as you want. And I've told you for the past few re readings, I want you to be fun. I want you to be social. I want you to have a good time, especially after, you know, those tough months that we've just been coming out of. But don't do it in a way where you do uh, something where you could regret it, if that makes sense. OK. And that can be in your physical world. It can be, you know, with uh, just Mars and Leo, uh, you uh, that's a placement where people can be a little hot headed, hot headed, um, a little you know, tempers flare, th stuff like that. Okay, so, uh, and with Mercury and its domicile, which is great, but it's just like you can communicate with like without filters, <laughs> if, if that makes sense. So, uh, this is in your future, and you want to avoid that. Okay, so this is just that potential. Now, here we'll clarify it too. All right, so. Yeah, there you go. You have the page of wands here. There's, uh, you, you know, what's really funny is that, uh, this is a card that comes up m in most readings. And then this is a card that's come up in, I'd say like, well, more than like almost half the readings this week, the page of wands, not surprised, especially with that new moon in Gemini. Um, so there you go. Okay. Now, don't do anything you're going to regret. Now, this card means a lot of things. But again, this is just saying there is something that could happen where it is, uh, you know, could cause you to stay up in bed at night with your hands over your face. And it could be, you know, something could have done. Someone could have done something uh, bad to you. Uh, you could have uh, said something that you didn't mean to. Uh, it, you know, you could be grieving over something. You could be sad over something. I mean, this is you, though. So this is you. But again, looking at your spread, especially with the Ten of Pentacles in your challenge area and, you know, keep keeping in mind that the astrology of what's happening for this week, it could be something that you may regret saying or doing, and you don't want to do that. Um, one thing that, uh, because we're, because we're talking about this, um, on the 15th, Mercury is going to square Saturn. So definitely that day for sure. Don't be mindful about the way that, you know, you speak to others and, uh, whatnot, but look at that you got the page of wands if you're if 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 you can avoid that you're good and even if you do have a moment of regret or even if you do have something that you did that you did regret or something happened where it was really stressing you out fix it <laughs> right come to terms with it make amends with it remember mercury and gemini is powerful it's very powerful you have the power to communicate and so you have the power to forgive you have the power to make 
up, uh, you know, things that happen. Now, I'm not saying that every Leo in the world is going to do something they regret. This is just that potential. If 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 you don't like stay grounded and mind, body, soul aligned, all of that. OK, uh, this is just saying that there is that potential that, you know, something could happen where you're just like, uh, and uh, again, I'm getting more of the message from my guys that it's it's something that you could regret but again um you you don't have to be in that position okay you don't have to be in that position if you find yourself in that position don't stay in it don't stay in that place like if you do regret something or if you do feel um bad about something fix it fix it you're leos <laughs> you're well you're fixed signs um but you're leos you you're leos you got this you i mean you were the last the least like sensitive like oh i can't you know what i mean like you're leos now page of wands there's that new thing coming through it's a new passion something that you want something that is uh i'm getting message that for some leos it's something very brand new to you it could be like maybe a job offer in an in industry you've never worked in it could be something that uh you've been offered something in some sort of creative aspect as well uh ones are your passions like i said like passions creativity ideas or whatnot uh, you could have even looking at what's happening here you could have some sort of um, let's say like a spiritual download and you uh, have a moment this week where uh, there's uh, you don't get that support and that's something that makes you a little bit sad that's like another alternative that happens but uh, you get over it and then you're like, I'm going to do it anyway. So it's coming through. There's something new here that you definitely want. Okay. Um, and that is that Mars and Venus in Leo energy. Okay. Being bold, being assertive, going after what you want. Nothing can stop me now energy. Being proud of like everything that you've worked for um, and, and being confident moving forward. So whatever resonates with you, Leo, take whatever resonates with you. But if, again, don't stay stuck in that energy. Don't stay stuck in that energy. Now, let's get to your stuff. Leo, if you like this reading, it would be so great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. I want to hear from you. I want to know if um, any of that made any sense. Uh, secondly, Leo, I, wow, okay. You are definitely going to have uh, words with somebody uh this week okay so really really uh a lot of it can have to do with family uh a lot of it can have to do with inheritance if that's gonna resonate with you uh when you think about saturn and pisces it is in your eighth house which like i said earlier other people's money uh so there could be look remember all that the three generations here at play with the uh, Ten of Pentacles in your challenge area. So there could be some sort of arguments with family. There could be some sort of dispute over like inheritance or, you know, maybe even uh, just secrets being, uh, 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 you learning some secrets now. It is the eighth house after all. So let's continue. Let's see what's going on. Queen of Cups, there you go. Okay, this is honestly, when I say stay in, in, in touch with your intuitive side, your spiritual side, be grounded this week, do it. This is your affirmation, Queen of Cups. You know, she's Cancer, first of all. So she, you know, is in touch with her emotional side. Actually, she is, you see that her feet are actually in the water, right? So uh, water's our emotions. So this is her being in touch with her emotions, having that emotional intelligence. She is the most loving queen. I call her like the Princess Diana of Tarot. So keep that in mind that is what you want to you want to be rooted in that kind of energy this week because you got the knight of swords which is ruled by gemini and so this night again uh i always say it utrid son of utrid bold courageous going into the storm very transformative energy however in your external factors area with everything else that's happening this week you could just be it could be like too quick too fiery too impulsive all right so remember it's fine to have this idea and run with it um and uh, start something new uh and run with it but just be careful with uh 
just be careful with the things that 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 you say and the way that you communicate mercury and gemini especially to friends okay um uh, and especially with anything that involves like long-term like wishes and and your hopes remember all this all this gemini activity is in your 11th house of your social network, your friends, your communities, uh, organizations you belong to, groups you belong to, even social media. You could don't tweet anything like you know, don't ambient tweet. <laughs> don't do don't send out any tweets where you may get backlash. All right, uh, because not only does the eleventh house rule social media, Gemini is very like you know they are like the influencers. Okay, they are the uh, marketing people. Gemini's are you know it's all they're the creative types. They're uh, the writers. Okay, so uh, you did get the justice card, which is really interesting because. Uh, looking at the pattern here of what's going on with your spread, uh, it really is like there is a sense of balance that you're seeking uh, or, yeah, uh, will seek this week, uh, especially if things go a little like too fast and furious for you. But at the same time, there is a, a sense of, uh, well, looking at what's going on here. Some of y'all are actually getting married. Um, some of y'all are actually getting married and there's, uh, uh, yeah. And there's some, it work, there could be, so that's one thing, okay? Uh, you did get a lot, I mean, you got the four ones, you got the hair of fun, you got just, I mean like, some of y'all are definitely going to uh, get married this week or get proposed to or think about getting married. Uh, that may be a thing that's happening and that may be something, you know, family may not be supportive of it. Or there may be a situation where uh, you want to, but there's uh, you don't know if it is the right thing, if it's going to bring you that like long term, like wealth and security. You don't feel like super secure. <clears throat> My voice is cracked. Uh, but if you are in that headspace, hey, remember, just be careful with like the conversations that you have this week. Secondly, with the justice card uh, showing up. Uh, and the reason, again, remember, I said Pluto and Aquarius is your seventh house of marriage partnerships. OK, um, and uh, the other thing is that justice is ruled by Libra, which is uh, the native ruler of the seventh house of partnerships. And marriage uh but then the other thing is um some of y'all are just seeking that justice for if something does go a little bit off uh you it's almost like you have this sense of regret and you want it to like balance out like the scale that she has in her hand just use that sword okay use that sword as a power of good it's a double-edged sword uh, and so you want to use it in a way where it's you know helping you in this situation all right to have that justice this is a lot of karmic energy attached to this card so uh the justice card but even still it really is like just there could be some things and the reason why i, I said there may be a dispute in the family is because you did get the five of swords in your final outcome and that is all about choosing your battles wisely and this is uh you know it it is a, stor a stormy card uh one thing that I mentioned earlier, Neptune is definitely going to be uh, s squaring the new moon in Gemini. Uh, to me, it's just, I felt like Leo's like, you've got this, you're like, just be realistic about stuff. But now with this showing up in your final outcome, really know that you have like all the information you need. If there is a dispute, looking at your entire spread here now, if there is a dispute with family, if there is a dispute, uh, even with, you know, family, even regarding children as well, um, no, just make sure that you have all the information that you need uh, uh, and make sure that you are, uh, again, wielding that sword as a power of good, okay? You see that he has these swords, but that's not powerful. It's the way that he's holding it. It's not powerful at all. And this card is all about self-respect, self-dignity. It's all about, again, like I said, choosing your battles wisely. Um, do you really need to like go into this argument, fight? Um, if you can avoid it, you well, let's clarify it. 
You'll be fine. <laughs> uh, we'll do one more. You'll be fine. <laughs> you got the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. So you got the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Wands. The Page of Wands in your future. The Knight of Wands and the King of Wands in your final outcome. Uh, really, like, nothing can stop me now energy. Boom, like to the 10th degree. This is fire on fire. This is like really big uh, uh, Sagittarius energy. And like I said, we had that full moon in Sagittarius in your fifth house. So it's almost like there was a ending of something and now you're just blazing forward uh, with uh, uh, something that you've really wanted. Um, and then King of Wands, just you getting it. <laughs> you getting it. That's crazy. I, wow. That's, uh, and you know that the King of Wands is Leo, right? So you're, I mean, you're good. This is a, uh, this is just, this is you sitting in that throne. That's, you know, the wands. Remember what I said passion, creativity, ideas, everything that's brewing this week around that new moon. Just be realistic. Just, you know, it really is with the only concern that I would have is the fact that you did get the five of swords and the nine of swords with the ten of pentacles in your challenge area. But you see the clarifiers here. I mean, it's everyone has free will. Every card has hope. You can choose uh, your own. You can choose which way to go, right? This you can choose to send that bed and, you know, feel bad or feel guilty about a certain situation that may have happened. Again, the biggest message that was coming through for me was a sense of regret. Um, it could be something that you do, something that you say uh, with all this heavy Gemini energy. Actually, this card is ruled by Gemini. Uh, it is more, uh, 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 this is actually Mars and Gemini. Uh, it's, it's more like maybe it may be something that you communicate that you may regret or 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 whatnot so uh you definitely want to be careful about that but you don't have to sit in that bed you can choose to get out and when you do you got the page of wands okay i uh and this is you know something new pages are the messengers so you could be receiving a message especially with you know all this activity with Mercury and Gemini, New Moon and Gemini. I mean, like, you could definitely be receiving a message after you have that moment of forgiveness, after you, um, what did I say earlier? Fix it. <laughs> um, I don't know why I think that's funny, but uh, so Page of Wands is something, and we'll clarify that too. Um, I'm, you know, feeling, there you go. Your entire world is can you can change as is if if you if if you are careful about the way that you uh, speak <laughs> or the things that you do this week, okay? And it's not listen. I'm just gonna say this one more time: when Venus and Mars are conjuncting in Leo, it can be a little much, and it's in your sign. You're the Leo, and so. It can be a little much. Remember, just stay grounded, stay rooted. For some of y'all, there could be some sort of dispute with family matters. Communicate. Communicate. That's that's all there's to it. Communicate, being very honest and open, okay? Remember, wield that sword in a way that is, you know, everyone wins, all right? Now, you saw this. Leo. How much time do we have? Let me just check. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I, uh, yeah. Well, you know, this is the game-changing card. This is, uh, first of all, Jupiter, right? Jupiter. It's ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck, good fortune, prosperity. Jupiter moved into Taurus, which I explained is your 10th house of career. A lot of this will be career-related, maybe even legacy-related. Uh, secondly, this is uh, uh, a game-changing card. 10, 1, 0 equals 1, new beginning with the wheel of fortune coming with the page of uh wands huge majorly 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 huge this new thing changing your life this is you you oh i i, I try really do try to avoid saying life changing in my readings because i know it's so dramatic look at this now you got the two biggest cards of karma here okay remember what i said be cool 
All right, Leo, be cool this week. You, you may say something, do something that is really fiery. Uh, it's not your fault. Venus and Mars in Leo is boom, 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 right? It's very boom, 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 boom. Uh, this is game changing. This is your luck. This is luck. This is luck. This is divine intervention. Uh, this is karma. Remember, um, karma is a real thing, all right? It's not static. It's constantly moving. You got to work with your karma, all right? Work with your karma here, especially with that nine of swords energy. Work with your karma. That's going to make every, that's going to make all the difference. Um, yeah, this is completely game changing. This is in your future. Last thing I'm going to say is that the Wheel of Fortune, you see the four fixed signs in the corners of the world, all right? Uh, uh, the wheel here. Um, as you know, as I've mentioned like 20 times now, you're a fixed sign. You're here, Leo. You're here. This is amazing. You got the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands. I don't forget what's you have the star and the Hierophant here. You have, look at this. This is your week. This is your week. This is your week. This is uh, your week. Have fun socialize um but don't get carried away that's all i'm saying okay that's my only advice to just you know especially with the nine of swords in your future and uh the five of swords and your final outcome there could be something where it's just like you a little tempered a little like Ugh! but keep your cool you're gonna be good you're gonna be good you're going to be absolutely good uh, if there is some sort of dispute, especially with the Ten of Pentacles and with the Justice card here. Pff, be very communicative, okay? Be very communicative. I mean, you're 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 going to be great. Gosh, Knight of Wands and King of Wands in your final outcome with the Page of Wands in your future. You're good, Leo. Thanks so much for tuning in. I uh I you're you're good uh again leaving me speechless leo again leaving me speechless uh next week's a big week uh a huge week okay very big week and it's a week where you're actually going to be going through uh a little bit more like you are going to like center yourself with all that we're moving into cancer season and that's your 12th house i'll talk about that more next week um and the fact that jupiter sextiling saturn the biggest aspect of the month huge i'll see you next week thanks so much leo bye bye